What you feel about the drill music? I mean, as someone who grew up with gangster rap, I understand it and I respect it. I just feel that with the advent of social media and the way that it all gets pumped up by the fans right. and everything else like that, that there's sometimes really bad results that happen. But they just talk about what's in the environment. That's like right. when 50 was talking about many men and what's going through him, he's just expressing yeah, what's I mean, going it's, it's on the in the same, environment. Yeah, I mean, 50 was Because you gotta understand, to me, it's all about the environment. When you leave the environment, it's totally different. And you know what I'm talking about. When you, you know, I'm straight from the hood. So when you left that environment, you see, when I came home, the difference between me and the other rappers was that 50 made sure we had condos in the city Battery Park, come out the building, you see the Statue of Liberty. So I always thank 50. You see the Statue of Liberty. We set up where ain't no shootings over there. You could walk out there barefoot. Little kids are walking out there barefoot and stuff. I thought somebody farted over there. My bad. <laughs> but little kids walking out there barefoot and stuff. So we had the setup. See, at, maybe at that time, I don't know, no disrespect to Jim. He may not have the resources to say, hey, yo, stack, I'm going to get you out the projects. Forget the Porsche. Let's get you in a condo. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Fifth had us in a condo in Battery Park. Yeah, he was thinking ahead. To shoot me there, you it, it's a big risk, man. Right. <laughs> you know, Statue of Liberty right there. So it's like I always think 50, you know, because he had the setup and he always had the mind state like, yo, you know what? Let's invest in them bulletproof trucks, um, which got shot at. I remember one time in Hot 97, I forgot her name. Somebody had worked in there. She got in the back of the truck. She was like, yo, there's a bullet hole. In the back of the truck. I'm like, yeah, it's bulletproof. Some couple of people shot at it. It's okay. Oh, my you God. You had a bulletproof truck yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm telling you a story. We had people from Hot 97. They needed a ride. They got in the car. In, in your bulletproof in truck? In my bulletproof. Uh -huh. And it was a bullet hole, like a 45 bullet hole in the back of that bitch. And she was like, there's a bullet in here. And I said, yeah. Motherfucker shot at it. I mean, we was down with 50 Cent. We wasn't down with, like, Kanye and... Common yeah. Sense, nigga. We was... <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I, I remember <laughs> uh, during my DVD days... Mm -hmm. When I came in to interview you and I think Buck, right. you walked into the, the G Unit uh conference room. Right. You took off your jacket and then you took off your bulletproof vest. Yeah, because you know, I mean this wasn't a prop. This wasn't like a stage thing. Nah, like you, you actually you, were walking yo, the streets look, you, with the bulletproof vest. When you vest. number one at top, motherfuckers is just gonna take they they shot at you. Fifty's yeah. always been a nigga that's been a nigga that's on the shit. So motherfuckers, you know, make up shit. Niggas snitching, nigga think niggas did. All that shit is lies, bro. I seen 50 be a real nigga with my own eyes. Like, I seen him run blocks and knock niggas out. And I don't want to say too much, but I've seen it with my own two eyes. If I tell you, yo, this nigga's real, he's the real deal. I'm not going to make up shit to just because the nigga's my friend. Yeah, I don't think anyone really doubts 50's, uh, you know, nah, pedi 50 the real pedigree, deal. let's say. I, 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 don't, real, think, I don't think anyone listen, has called him fake or 50, anything else look, like that. Burgundy minivan. Mac 10, that's all I'm going to say. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> no it, AC. Bob Self. 